Amen. I'm not Brother Atkins, but uh, he wanted me to testify. But I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. There's a couple. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. As they begin to sing that song, Hallelujah, anyhow, I begin to think on how the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. Young people in this day were saying, I want to be close to God. I want to draw closer to him. Well, all you have to do, the Bible says, is draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you. No matter what's going on around you, if you'll shut everything else out and you'll just say, okay, God, I've got to have a touch. I can't go on like I've been going. I can't limp through everyday life. I've got to have something extraordinary. I've got to have something that when the world comes to me, I have the answers. Amen. We must do like the apostles. We must give all. We must sell all. We must tell, hey, you know, it doesn't matter what I get. It doesn't matter what in life. It doesn't matter if I go through beatings and scourgings. It doesn't matter what goes on. But I do know that that there is coming a day that that day will come when brother John was talking about the king of glory will split the eastern skies and that day is soon amen and those that have believed and hold on to the truth we will rise together to meet him in the air that day is so soon but I don't want to get weary I don't want to get lax I want to join with those that are around the throne I want to say the Lord is great and greatly to be praised he is coming soon for a church that's ready to meet him amen I'm ready to see the Lord. You know, I was born in a crack attic home. I was born to crack attic parents, and, and they did as crazy people do. And then I got in a Pentecostal church, and I seen them roll across the floor and shout across the pews. I thought they were crazy, but let me tell you something tonight. I've never had peace like I have, like I've got right now. I've never had joy like I've got right now. There's something about when you give your life to God, and when you turn everything over to Him, and you you say, God, I'm ready to do what you want me to do. I'm ready to go where you want me to go. I'll turn away sin. I'll look away from the world. I'll shut out the world. I'll do what you want me to do. Amen. I'm just ready to see the presence of God. This world's done enough for us. We've got enough games. We've got enough gimmicks. We've got enough 12 steps to revival. I'm ready to see the King of Kings touch a young person's life and say, I'm ready for a revival to touch this land. I'm ready to see the Lord move one more time and stir the hearts. Amen. I'm ready to see him stir somebody's life tonight. I'm ready to see him. Aren't you ready? Aren't you ready, youth? Aren't you ready to see revival stir this land? Aren't you tired of just modern and everyday life? Church, I'm ready to see him stir us one more time. I'm ready to see him stir us. Amen. I love the Lord tonight.